play clock about to expire. We get a whistle and a timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. And a great spot to start this drive from here. and 10, Stafford. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. looking to avoid a third and long at second and ten. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Back to the air. Stafford on second down. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. A final shot before the break. Stanford. Did he get the feet down? Yes. Touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Lions just continue to pour it on. And the route is on here in this first half. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the half. It's Taylor. Taylor hit. He lost the football. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener as we'll send you down to Orlando as we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And the Lions were able to cover this one up. So he needed it to travel 10. It did not. And it's an automatic penalty. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. They come up at a two tight end look here. Here we go. One. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 20 yard line. A good pick up there at 22. And having built that kind of a lead, they're able to do whatever they want right now. All momentum on their side, especially now running the football. Yeah, you're talking about a defense being on their toes. They don't know what's going to hit them next at this point. No, they went from toes to heels, and they're trying to figure out how to get back to the toes part. After the run, now Stafford going to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Their dangerous wide receiver. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Lions have got it on cruise control. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter.
Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. They go with Abdullah again. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Well, Brandon, so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. Now Taylor to throw. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Tahir Whitehead. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. If <laughs> you love pressure, I love it. Let's we'll see if they dial it up this drive. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They come out here in the eye. Now a play fake here on first down. Pass incomplete. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. On second and ten, Stafford under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. Although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL, meaning wherever your tackles operate normally, get outside of that. And the ball that you throw has to get back to at least the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you face an intentional grounding call. They'll fake it. Now Stafford finding time. He's going to let this one. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver with now three week one touchdowns. And the Lions just continue to pour it on. And he knocks it through. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll probably wish he reconsidered here. It'll cost him 10 yards now with a new rule as he's down at the 15-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They come out here in the eye. A second down run for Abdullah. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line, lower than the defensive front. They moved him and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. Here we go. They'll run here. Abdullah. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. 
everyone understood their role on that play. Third and one, you know the defensive guys, they're trying to get down and get low and get leverage on the offensive lineman, but they didn't allow that to happen. They created a crease and allowed him to get through for a first down. On first and ten, it's Taylor. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive there, he hits the reliable target. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. Just a yard on the catch there, it'll be second and nine. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Throwing again, it's Taylor. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Darius Slay with a pick. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And they went big on first down. Proves unfruitful. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Back to the air, Stafford on second down. And he comes back with one complete. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Play action here on first down. Surveying the field. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and put the ball in the end zone, throwing it, you had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground. So maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. Looking deep downfield. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit, and they may have to change accordingly. And the offense looks to pick up the first here on third after that incompletion. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. On first and 10, Stafford. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. 15 yards down to the 15 and a first down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. From 
from the red zone now. Stafford. This will be caught at the two. And he's brought down. Back now at Ford Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come out here in the eye. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. And that rushing touchdown is Ford. Puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Here's Martin now following the score as he'll send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They try the right side with Abdullah. And he powers his way up past the 30. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. So they run it on second down. Now let's see what third down brings here for the offense. On the run, Dunbar. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So the offense has it first and 10. Let's go! Now they'll throw with Taylor. He finds Hearns left side. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. From midfield now, here's Taylor. Open man left side is Gronkowski. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 17 that time. And it'll give the Patriots a first down. Here we go! Flex round! Flex round! Here we go! Push in! Push in! Out of the gun, it's Taylor. Letting one go deep here. For, and now here is another interception. A great read, and it's picked off. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes. But I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. They call that a loss of six yards. And it's third down now. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. Off of play action, here's Stafford. 
He's got time. He's going to look deep down the field. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. He's got time in the pocket. He's going to go up top again. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Detroit. Try here for the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So after the touchdown, Martin now on to kick this one away. The Patriots offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. They start the drive with a bull. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. On third down, Taylor finding time. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him that leads to an incompletion as we just saw there, that's winning football. Critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Here we go. Here we go. It's Chandler on fourth down. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. That one good for 10 yards. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this Here case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflate. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play there for the Patriots. 33 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator is looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. To throw again is Taylor. It's caught right side of turns. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Time for a break. We'll come back and wrap up garbage time after this. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. They come out here in the eye. Following the penalty, Abdullah. And able to 
push his way forward here for a good little game. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Again, it's a duel. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. On third and goal, Taylor. And this is caught. Well, they get one back. Picking up the late touchdown here, but still down big. Well, I do have one word for that touchdown for you, partner. You ready? Yeah. Cosmetics. <laughs> Just makes things look a little better. I don't know. It's like putting lipstick on a pig. Yeah, and it's hard, it's hard to do, too. And the pig doesn't like the lipstick a heck of a lot, but you do like the fact that they're battling down the stretch, still trying to put something on the board, even though this game is over. By the way, how rude is that to the pig? Look at all the <laughs> things they give us. Pulled pork, bacon. Here's Corey Graham at a return. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. They have the big lead here late. They protected their home turf well, didn't they? They certainly did, partner. And just think about how good that feels because every team has a goal when they start the year to win at home. All right, and sometimes you don't win all of them, but they managed to get that done today. Just think about your routine stays the same. Everything's familiar. You feel right going into the game, and they translated that into a win. They did indeed. They protected the home. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know that plenty of people are thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget <laughs> today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. Now it's Taylor. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Try it here. He's back to throw. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he's brought down after a good game. Call it an even 20 yards on the pickup. And they're able to move the chains as they convert on fourth and long. They come out five wide, three of them to the right go. side. On first down, it's Taylor. He gets it to Cooks. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Let's go. Ryan 38. Ryan 38. Throwing now. Taylor on first down. And that's complete to Hoff. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. Give him nine there on the first down completion. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. 
Again, it's Taylor. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. And that was incomplete, but I don't know how much of that falls on the quarterback. He was pressured. Brandon, the rush showed up so fast, the quarterback had no chance to get the ball downfield. Taylor, he's got a man. It's Mitchell. Well, my friend, for the players, it's good for them to get that first game under their belts. For you and I, that first Thursday night game, also good for us to get that under our belts, wasn't it? It was no longer preseason. We were into the regular season, the first game of the year.